open data today can be a very useful tool against corruption, that is especially when there are connections between databases across different governments and national information systems. We believe that this could speed up the process of investigation and exchange of information and also increase at the same time public accountability. So in our uh, report we decided to assess 10 core data sets uh, um, which are uh, we think key to anti-corruption efforts and they usually refer to people and organizations, government related resources or and they're also useful for laws and procedures and uh, rent extraction. I think it's, it's not only about what information is out there and what data sets are available and so forth but it's also about a change in in the culture uh, because obviously public institutions are spending a lot of resources in, in compiling uh, information and I think uh, we, we just need to make sure that we get all of the value uh, for the public from the information that, that it could have and I think the way to do that is to, to build uh, infrastructures of of data in a way that is open and participatory, that's not only led by civil servants but also taking as part of the process uh, a wide range of different users of the data and taking into account their perspective in um, how to publish uh, the data, with what kind of standards, with what kind of licenses uh, and so forth. One of our interesting, uh, uh, the Stander is a Swedish PR firm uh, based in Stockholm and they won our Open Knowledge Award to call of us by surprise uh, two years ago. Uh, and one of the things they did, in a, and again, I repeat, a PR firm, uh, publishing their own practices, methodology and lobbying practices as open data. And uh, having all the information available openly and a con contributing to that with a manual on how and why.